The purpose of this video is to show you how we can use SOLIDWORKS Enterprise PDM for creating and tracking projects. During the presentation we're going to go through project templates, file management, MS project integration, we're going to talk about the stage gate process as well as some reporting. The benefits of using this type of approach is that we want to improve our process efficiency, help people find the information they need, and also improve decision making with better and uh, friendlier dashboards for viewing project information. Uh, we're going to start by creating a new project. We use a template in Enterprise. Uh, the template gives us a new number. We can pick things like a project manager. We can define things like project name, risk, uh, like in this case a priority. And then once we hit OK in this interface, it's going to go ahead and build a project structure with folders uh, meant for storing the data that's critical for this project so that a user can go to this project folder and find everything related to a particular project, whether it be CAD files or other types of uh, information. As you can see, it names the folder based on the project number, and all the appropriate folders are built inside and the appropriate permissions are assigned. The Microsoft project file is also created. You can see it's pulling a number. There's also a flowchart so that you can see the general stages of the particular project. And we can see things like the priority and the risk. Um, a general duration is already pre-assigned to the particular project. And that is primarily because we already have a standard project defined for our NPI process in this case. If we look at the project information, you can see um, you know, we can pick general start dates and things like that just using general uh, Microsoft project functionality. We can go in there and update tasks. We can uh, change dates. We can add new tasks. Um, generally, just uh, set up the project the way we normally would. Now, when we save this information, it uh, obviously is updating the information inside a project with our new start dates and our new duration based on the changes that we made. What it's also doing is writing that same information down into the file data card for the Microsoft project file. So you can see there it has a new duration, a new start date, a new completion date. And so this information now can be searched on by other people who are interested in learning about the project. What we're going to do is we're going to check the file in, which is basically uh, releasing ownership of the file. And now we're going to send a link, uh, an internal link, to another user to have them update the file. And so when, by doing this we're actually um, sending them an internal system link, not a general email. So it doesn't actually send the file anywhere, it only sends a link so that the next person gets an email, brings them right to this particular file so they can update it. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to log off uh, and log back in as that user. So you can see the email that they get user is in marketing um, because marketing is the first phase of the project. So they get the email and they go into the open folder, brings them right to the correct location in the vault so they don't need to search for it. And now they can see all the information about it. They can look at the information, uh, the tasks and everything right as it comes from project. And then they can decide if they want to update it. They can just right click and edit on it. It would automatically check it out and open it up into Microsoft Project. Uh, in this case, this user is actually going to update a few tasks. As you can see, they marked a couple tasks as complete. And they're going to go ahead and save that. When they do that, it actually then again updates the properties inside of, of Enterprise PDM. So now it's 27% uh, complete. And now when they're done with their particular task, they may want to go ahead and put that back into the vault, release ownership, and then submit that to the next group uh, because their particular phase is done. So in this case, they're ready for engineering review. They're going to forward it on to Mark Carlson, who's another user uh, who's in engineering. And you can see the flow chart is now indicating that it's now pending engineering with approvals by Chris Johnson on that particular day. So the next thing we're going to do is log in as this uh, engineering user. 
and once we log in we're going to see a notification. Now this notification could come in your general Outlook email inbox uh, or Lotus Notes or it could be triggered uh, internally using a SOLIDWORKS Enterprise PDM um, messaging system. It's going to allow you to navigate right to the project and you can use the preview functionality to look at all the tasks, uh, look at the information on the data card, and then update it um, by checking it out or by just right-clicking on the file and editing. In this case we're going to update a few um, tasks. I'm going to mark this one as 100% complete and then save the information. Obviously the project file itself is updating um, to make its adjustments and then those same adjustments are being written right to the data card so now we can see it's 40% complete and we've actually upped our project duration as well. Once we're done we can check this back in, uh, releasing ownership and allowing other people to work on the file. You can see it's still pending engineering update. Uh, if we want to look for other projects that are pending engineering review we can go to the MPI search and quickly see all the ones pending engineering and looking at their priorities and the risks associated with those projects. Uh, if we want to look for ones related to a particular project manager we can do that as well and it just shows us this one project is waiting this particular user's information. The next thing we're going to do is actually log in as a administrator, somebody who has more rights to see all the projects. So we can show you what this uh, dashboard view or report looks like when you see all projects. So I don't really need to browse into the vault, I just need to get to the project search screen. And again, now we can see all the projects that are running and we can sort by, sort by their stage uh, in the process. Um, obviously you can see the start dates and um, potential finish dates and percent complete and then you can do other filtering like if you want to see things that are of high risk or high priority you can do that right in the screen. And this screen is fully uh, configurable so that any amount of fields you want to put on there we can put right on the card so that you can do the searching um, right from Enterprise PDM. Um, this information you can export to Excel uh, so you can build reports to take to meetings or you can directly mine the data from Crystal Reports or, um, or from something like Microsoft Excel. Uh, in this case it's linking the data directly to the system so that the uh, charts and the uh, tables in here are updating automatically as we add new projects into uh, the Enterprise PDM system. As you can also see these reports can also be pushed to things like HTML pages so that we can easily distribute the information to other people in the company. With that, that concludes my presentation of using Enterprise PDM for tracking and managing projects.